Hey there, I'm Winter Rudolph. Welcome back to my channel. Across the street from me is Coleman Coliseum, where the University of Alabama women's basketball team play Alabama A&M in their open season game. Here's what happened last week against the Bulldogs. The Alabama women's basketball team opened the 2022-23 season Monday with a commanding 98-51 win over Alabama A&M inside Coleman Coliseum. The Crimson Tide was paced by a 26-point game by guard Brittany Davis. Carly Weathers had 15 points and 4 steals in her collegiate debut, while Jemiah Mingo Young tallied 10 boards and 6 points with Jada Rice, adding 8 boards, 9 points, and 3 blocks. Their victory marked the 13th consecutive campaign that UA has won its season opener. Alabama opened the game with an 11-0 run and did not yield the lead for the entire game. The Crimson Tide had three players in double figures with Brittany Davis scoring 26, Megan Abrams scoring 11, and Carly Weathers 15. Davis tallied six or more three-pointers for the third time in her career and first time since she scored six against Georgia last season. Alabama had three athletes with five or more rebounds with Jemiah Mingo Young pacing the team with 10 boards, followed by Jada Rice with eight, and Davis with five. Loya McQueen and Mingo Young both had five assists in the game. Weathers finished her first collegiate game shooting 4-5 from the field, 4-4 from the stripe, and 3-4 from the deep, while adding four steals in the win. The home win marks Megan Abrams' eighth consecutive double-figure game and Brittany Davis' 14th double-digit outing in the last 15 competitions. All six newcomers to the 2022-23 roster scored in the matchup. The Crimson Tide outscored the Bulldogs 36-20 with points in the paint. Here's what Coach Curry and some of the team players had to say about the first game. I. I am really excited about this team. I loved um, the way that we went about our business and the preparation the past couple of days. And then um, from our shoot around time today, um, the buy-in, is, is, it's, it's, it's got to happen at every position. Um, we obviously um, are really excited about what this team can accomplish, but it all starts with buy-in and belief and um, just their toughness and how hard that they play. And I just uh, I like the way we approached the past couple of days in our preparation now. The challenge is to let it go at midnight and uh, get, get ready to go get another road win. Um, you know, it's a tough place to play at Tulane. Um, they had a great win over Gramlin. They had a chance to sneak a few peaks. I think they started at four, so I got to watch a couple of minutes, but about to go watch the entire game and just have a lot of respect for their program. So I thought that we did a phenomenal job of sharing the ball tonight. Um, you look at Britt, Britt went, Britt went for like a silent 25. People could talk about that too. So I just think that we did an awesome job sharing the ball and that allowed me to do what I do. Give us momentum, but um, this is a new season. What we done last year doesn't matter anymore. And like coach said, um, when 12 hits, this, we got to forget about this and focus on the next. Coach Curry does make a point about focusing on what's next for this intercollegiate team. Now, you may ask, what is next for the Crimson Tide? I will say it's more about continuing to develop their skills as athletes and winning a tournament this season. What else can I say? It's all in the team's history that the women's basketball team has what it takes to win. Bama fans, I encourage you to cheer and support our women's basketball team this season. To the players, let's bring home a tournament win to the Crimson Tide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace.